Good morning, it's Scott, Scott Off-Road. How you doing today? Well, it is a cool, brisk, snowy day, and we've got a project for the garage. So, let's get this done and get back in the house where it's nice and warm. Well, let's start this off by opening the package and seeing what we have. Hardware, destructions, and a template. And this is a project that went wrong pretty much from the start. Cutting it out was pretty straightforward. What I would recommend at this point though is going in and ironing that template. With the folds and the creases, it affects everything. Also, I don't know if the template was correct or not. I'm not going to put any blame on anybody because, again, I didn't iron it out to make sure it was perfectly flat. I also didn't double check the measurements for these holes that I was drilling, which I should have done. These holes right here on the hinge side all said and done, I had two dents on the outside of my tailgate. So at some point during the install, I went a little too deep. This side of the tailgate, the metal was a lot thicker, a lot stronger, a lot longer to drill through. Once we got to the other side though, yeah, it goes through real, real quick. Run a quick file in there, get all the burrs out, but then also I touched up the paint. Then we get the huck rivets. Luckily I had a huck rivet tool. There's a way to do this without the tool, with just using a couple washers, a nut, and a bolt. But I had the tool so I went ahead and used it. And at this point everything is going together fairly smoothly. I've, I've been impressed other than the cosmetic difference in the table. When I bought this I was buying one for a JK and they showed me one for a JL and there is cosmetic differences between the two and the JLs looks much better. Right here is where it went sideways. This is where I found out none of the holes lined up at all and so I had to actually adjust the huck rivets, I had to adjust, redrill and adjust the holes on the table, realign everything, and this took several hours of just playing with and trying to get it as right as I possibly could. And there's the somewhat finished project. When you shut it here, what you'll notice is it's not quite level at the top. And at this point, I didn't realize the cables went inside, so I was really disappointed with the way this thing was, uh, uh, this way it came out. But after a month or two of playing with it, having it in the Jeep, here's what it looks like today. It is a great place for holding everything. Right here you can see that the cables actually do tuck in behind the table and the tailgate, which is nice. And it does create a nice little platform for cooking or whatever it is you're doing. And right here I'm pointing at those notches in the side of the brackets where the cables go. Another issue I did have with this table is the outside clip just did an amazing job holding. The passenger side, however, or the inside, yeah, not so much. I had to use a set of a little spring clamp to hold that in place. And I think I'll pretty much just go ahead and switch over to a magnet at some point. 
but oh well thanks for watching thanks for subscribing you have yourself a blessed day remember you fix the Jeep the Jeep fixes you have a great day